be good. Alright. First step is to crack all the sparklers up as best as you can. About four packets of 16. Depends how big the sparkler bomb you want to get. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty obsessed with that. Okay. This may take a while. Depends how many. So after you've done four packets, you should keep two spare. One for lighting, or two for lighting, in case one goes wrong. After you've done all this, bury the CO2 canisters as best as you can. One of these. We found these at our deli. <laughs> now, put the wicks in, like so. Make sure they're nice and buried. Once you've done this, pull it up tightly, as we have done. And if you want, you can put a bit of duck or wrapping tape with you. Okay. Oh shit, we've got tape. Go get. Yeah, don't forget tape. And Make sure you got anything before you start. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. We've got wrapping in. That's what it should look like. We've got a bit of leakage, we underestimated how much we're going to use, but we use plenty, make sure you have plenty of air for it. it up even more. Make sure you make it nice and compact or it won't work. If there's any loose parts, it just spark up and then you just go and nothing will happen, no bang. Now you wrap it up in gaffer tape or duct tape, whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit, not too much. Make it even more tighter. All the way to the brim. That's cool. And there. That's the finished and then product. You have your CO2 sparkler bomb. Added with a lighter equals boom. Fine. Right now you bury it as securely bit. as you can. And then when you're lighting, Get ready to you light move. these tips here. It will go down into where all the CO2 and sparklers in, and you run. Okay, now let's go. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And after that is when you run. Run, run, run.